is the ones that you were talking about with the with the dots, right? So um, I guess it, we may have to estimate this one, but let's look at the domain first. How far to the left is this thing? <coughs> that looks like negative 8 to me. Now, hopefully on the graphs they give you on the homework, it'll be a little bit more precise. Now, is the negative 8 included, though? How do we know? Very good. That's an open circle. So negative 8 is our minimum. It's not included. How far to the right does this thing go? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say five right here, just so we don't make it too complicated. All right. So this goes all the way to five, which is a closed circle. So I'll have a square bracket. Now let's look at the range. What's the minimum on this thing? Negative six. This is included because it's solid line there. How far up does this thing go? Yeah, it looks like 9 to me, right? I mean, if we centered that point. It looks like it's going to 9. Now, this one's open, but this one's closed, so it is still included in the range there. Because uh, we only need one of the circles to be... These are equal right here, those two circles, but one of them is closed, which means it's included somewhere in the range. If they were both open, then we would have, uh, I guess, just a regular parenthesis right there. I, I want to say on the homework, they want you guys to write these in as inequalities. All right, now the interval helps us. The domain specifically has to do with x. And since negative 8 is the minimum, we can compare x with negative 8. It would go to the right. And since negative 8 is not included, we don't put the equal sign underneath it, okay? And then we can compare this with 5, which is included, but it's less than negative 5 because that's our maximum. So that would be the interval if they ask for it on the homework, okay? And then the range, this one is comparing y. It goes all the way up to 9, and it stops at a, with a minimum of negative 6,